In this video, we're going to look at step five, get leverage. So what does that mean? Leverage is that one piece that just, oh, it pushes you over the edge. It's that, it's going on that diet when the doctor tells you, hey, your cholesterol is high. If you keep eating all this crap, you're going to have a heart attack, right? That's leverage. And what leverage does is it really makes us take that action. And that's what you want to get with your team and yourself. You want to make sure that you get enough leverage that there's consequence and leverage can also be something positive, couldn't it? Okay, so you want to make sure you get the leverage. Typically, you start with pain because if there's a pain point, that gets people into movement. It gets them to change their behavior, gets them to change how they feel, right? That's that pain. When you get enough leverage, now momentum starts. If there's not enough leverage over here, you may or may not get the result that you're looking for. Okay, so the first piece of getting leverage is cost assessment. What is the cost? What will it cost your company? What will it cost your team? What will it cost your department? What will it cost you if the desired outcome is not achieved? Okay, what will it cost? So what will it cost you in time? Time is a big one. If you guys are putting time into a project and that project doesn't get done or doesn't get completed successfully, how much time are you going to lose? Is it six months? Is it a year? Is it years? Okay, a lot of times that's great leverage if you're gonna lose that time. What's, what's it gonna cost you in money? Money is a great leverage piece. If we don't get this done, we would have lost all this money. Okay, I love the, the story for GoDaddy, right? So when GoDaddy first came out, they put all the investors' money into a Super Bowl ad, and that was leverage. If that Super Bowl ad did not take off and they didn't get those customers coming in, that would have been a pretty bad gamble. But luckily for everybody, it worked out. So now we have GoDaddy, right? But that's big leverage. Hey, we're putting a ton of money into this thing. We better get the result, okay? The third thing, what's it gonna cost you in market share, okay? Are you gonna go from the number one company down to number 10, right? Are you gonna lose, how many clients are you gonna lose if you're not successful, okay? So you have to do a cost assessment and get very clear and very specific and you wanna share that with your team so that everybody can connect to what leverage that is. One of my favorite examples of leverage is I have an executive coaching client and he runs uh, an international global company and we were working on a project and we were talking, I was looking for some leverage. I'm like, what's the leverage that I can really use to get him to take action? And so here's what we came up with. I told him to think of a company or a person that he really didn't like, right? And this guy is very friendly. He likes most everybody. I go, think of one that you really dislike, okay? And I had him do that. And then once he came up with that, that company, we put down a check. I had him write a check, write it out by hand, pull out his checkbook, write out a check for $1,000 and made out to that company, right, for a job well done. Oh, that's leverage. And I told him if we didn't achieve this outcome, that he was gonna take that check and he was gonna mail it off to that company. Wow, and it wasn't the thousand dollars, it was the idea of getting that money to that company that really messed him up. And guess what, he never sent that check. Not even close. We took that goal and we crushed it because there, that leverage was back there, right? The leverage was back there and all the things we've been talking about. Okay, make sense? Good, so let's recap. So you have to get leverage, that's step five. You have to do a cost assessment. What will it cost if the desired outcome is not achieved? And you have to get very clear and you have to share that with your team. What will it cost you in time? What will it cost you in money? market share, et cetera. Whatever it is for you guys, that's really gonna hit home. We're gonna go a little deeper into this on the next video. So we'll see you there.